Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography, and today I'm going to show you how to create this super fun image. It's just my kids drinking out of a hose, but I was cracking up. You should have seen all the faces that they were making. It was hilarious. Anyway, we're going to start here. This is the straight out of camera shot, and we are going to end here. So before and after. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is go into the Storyville Spring Green presets. There's about 13 options for this. I chose Spring Green number 5. And the only thing I did was turn down the exposure a little bit. And that looks good to me. And then I am going to take this directly over into Photoshop. Okay, now that we're in Photoshop, the first thing I'm going to do is run the Storyville smoothing and sharpening action. So make sure the step you want to complete is highlighted and hit the play. This only works if your image is completely flattened, guys. So if you do have this, make sure you're working on the background layer. Uh, I'm going to turn the silky smooth down to about 50%. It comes on strong, so you can always dial it back as much as you want or leave it. And then the next one I'm going to do is the sharpening. So I'm going to hit that and play. In that, I am going to keep at 100%, but I am going to turn the brighten off. This is already a pretty bright image compared to what I'm used to working with. Um, so we will just turn that off, and that looks good to me. And the next thing we're going to do is come into the flares and grab flare number 9, which looks like this. I think it's so beautiful on its own. Um, and then you're going to select it, copy it, and paste it right over your image set to screen mode and then I'm going to add a little blur to that so filter blur Gaussian blur and we're going to do about 34 percent and now I want to add one more flare in addition so I'm going to pull out the Storyville flare 10 copy and paste that right into the layers set to screen mode and this one I'm going to expand so command T is the free transform and then that's going to just go on the outside there we go and now I'm going to flatten the image layer flatten image and the next thing I want to do is make um, a copy of the background layer so command J and on this layer I want to add a little bit of movement so I'm going to go to filter blur radial blur and I have the zoom selected right here make sure it's kind of over the subject that's mainly in focus if you want it coming directly from um, your focal point and choose best quality okay and as you see, that kind of just added some motion to the image, but it also put it over my subjects, which I do not want. So I'm going to take a mask at the bottom, and I'm going to use a soft black brush and just brush it off of them. So before and after that. And then I want to maybe bring the midtones down just a little bit. So I'm going to grab a curves adjustment layer. And I'm going to just pull down on the midtones a little. See? Um, also, what I did in the original photo, I don't have these brushes in the shop yet, but it's a sparkle dust brush. And I chose like a really pale yellow, that, or, you know, any color you really want, but I wanted it to kind of blend. And I just kind of added it around. Gave it a little something extra there before and after. Anyway, that is it, guys. Um, here's where we started, and that is where we finished. Um, really easy, quick, super easy. Anyway, you can find everything I used here in the today's tutorial at storyvillephotography.com. Thanks for listening. Have a great day, guys. Bye.